Good evening there and welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are out to shoot the beautiful blooming purple heather fields here in the Netherlands. So uh, let's see what we can grab. Let's go. It's now almost end of summer and that means it's that time of transition. Uh, what I mean by that, uh, what we're shooting in the night sky uh, is yeah, the Milky Way, but not exactly the Milky Way core. Uh, we live at, uh, I live <laughs> at 52 degrees north in the Netherlands, and that means that when darkness sets in around today, half past 10, it means that the core is still a little, little bit visible at the horizon, but the main act we are shooting now is almost entirely the Great Rift region, which becomes visible above, let's say, 10, 15 degrees above the light pollution dome on the horizon. Uh, is it still worth it? Yes, I definitely think so. The Milky Way is now transitioning from a more yeah, 45 angle phase a couple of months ago, also in La Palma, you've seen that, uh, to a vertical phase, and that opens up uh, yeah, a whole lot of different opportunities. For example, a tree in the middle where the Milky Way seems to get out. I've done that a lot of times, still love to do that. But uh, yeah, today I'm looking for some purple heather. I've just been filming now for 45 minutes or something. I think I've set up one time lapse which is running. Um, I think it's high time I'm going to look for a composition where I can at least include some heather. So uh, <laughs> let's do that. I do have to make a little bit of a confession here maybe and maybe we'll talk about that a little bit more but lately especially after coming home from La Palma back in May I'm having a little bit of motivational issues and that's not because I only want epic shots or something but you know it's just sometimes there seem to be some yeah, kind of barriers to go out I mean after a uh, yeah, pretty busy day of work. I'm tired. I'm thinking, will it be worth it or not? Uh, will the weather stay clear? Um, also, uh, I always have the sort of pressure, which I totally uh, took uh, take on myself uh, to make content. And yeah, sometimes I'm just a little bit tempted to stay inside. But then again, as you can see, we are out now. Um, and it's getting clearer and clearer. I'm seeing the stars and I'm kind of happy already that I went here. Uh, but yeah, you know, sometimes I'm not complaining or something, but it's just sometimes a bit hard to get the motivation to get out. And I'm totally sure you guys also have that from time to time. But uh, anyways, uh, the weather is nice. You can see I'm uh, wearing a vest and uh, yeah, let's see if we uh, can find some shots. I've just uh, put on a time lapse uh, a little bit back there with a little bit of perp. Wow, okay, <laughs> I saw a big meteor. Okay, is it worth going out? Most of the time, yes it is, I guess. So uh, let's uh, go on. <laughs> Setting up the tripod for some tracked Milky Way action, of course, with the Move Shoot Move Nomad. I have uh, just also shot um, uh, my first foreground. It's nothing really, really special, but it gets me going. Uh, I've shot some uh, purple heather on the foreground. It's not sharp at the foreground, so I'm using a bouquet effect. Uh, and that, yeah, I, I'm hoping at least that it creates some depth leading into the valley here with uh, yeah, some trees and maybe a little bit of mist forming and the Milky Way above, which you can see here above or behind me. Um, yeah. Pretty good. I've also seen some various other compositions, maybe while setting up the video camera. Uh, in the meantime, it's become crystal clear with a little bit of fluffy high clouds, but I don't mind. It's uh, turning out to be a beautiful night after all. <laughs> Shoot 
some milk. Trackers on our running have been running for about uh, I think 10 minutes for you. Yeah, some. 20 for me, maybe. Maybe a little less, but yeah, it's fine. It's okay. Um, anyway, uh, being out there, barriers. I've talked about uh, having a little bit less motivation sometimes, but what really helps for me is it's not all about astrophotography itself. But to me, it's also a little bit of socializing with good astro friends, like my time. Of course, sure. you've yeah. seen him a lot. <laughs> what have too you much. been? <laughs> Way too much. <laughs> now, of course, uh, now I, I really love shooting with people and sharing the experience. I was curious, uh, what are you up to uh, coming? Uh, coming weeks, months, have you any yeah, as astro plans? Of, well, as of next week, I will be in Portugal. Nice. So I will be in the south of Portugal, in the Algarve. It's uh, about Bortle 3 regions there in yeah, the Yeah, if you drive for an hour, you have yeah. Bortle 3 skies. So okay. uh, I picked some locations, one for a, yeah, I call it a, uh, well, it's not a winter arch, it's more like okay. an autumn arch. I see, uh, so what's an autumn uh, arch? Yeah, it's, uh, I, I think it's panorama from Cygnus towards Orion in the early morning. Okay, nice. Uh, so I have some plans for that and I spotted location with uh, Bordel 3 from west to east. So looking forward good, to that. Nice. And later in, in the holiday I will go to the west coast to shoot uh, the Milky Way core for the last time, I guess. So the, the core will still be uh, at, well, around uh, 15 degrees. <laughs> that will be night, excellent. So that will be great. So uh, It's yeah. the advantage for us living yeah. at 52 degrees north. If you go uh, yeah, 10, 20 degrees more south, the Milky Way core will be higher in the sky still. So yeah. more core time. Indeed. And, and also the opportunity to capture some detail. So uh, I will also shoot some HA uh, RGB over there. Nice. So, uh, Curious yeah, what you come forward. up with. Yeah, thank you. S send us some pictures on the app group. <laughs> I will for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But first, <laughs> let's finish tonight. <laughs> Tyne and myself we were just talking a bit how nice it was that we could actually, for the first time after La Palma in May, see the Milky Way here in the Netherlands yeah. with our naked eye. We can see the Cygnus region beautifully above, all into the Great Rift region. And below Great Rift, I think we have a bit of haze in the sky and quite a lot of light pollution. Yeah. Um, it's been some uh, time to uh, do a sky quality meter, but we have been discussing it a bit. And what do you think what the sky quality will be here? I guess really low in the 20. Low in the or 20. maybe even high in 19. But My let's, guess. Let's be optimistic. 20, low in the 20, 20.06. 20 20.06, very specific. <laughs> My guess would be something about 19.8, but uh, let's see who is closest. Oh, I'm doing it wrong, it's been too long. I should go again. I'm seeing this already and I think someone won, but I'll do it again in a good <laughs> way. Wow, if it really is this good. Uh, wow. It's better than expected. You see this? 20.66, I don't think if you can see that. It's focusing on my face, there it is. 20.65, 20.66. That's actually really good for the Netherlands. So uh, yeah, the sky must be pretty crisp above us. And yeah, to be honest, we have been seeing it and we have been enjoying it. So I'm still glad I came out. I have no idea if my shots turn out great, but you know, that's always the case. I don't know if my video will be great, but actually it doesn't matter. We've been enjoying a night under the stars and uh, yeah, the rest is just a bonus. <laughs> nice. That's netjes. So right there in the north, we can see Cassiopeia, of course. But below it, we can see Perseus, and even a bit lower, we can see the Pleiades rising 
I was here uh, at kind of the same spot also last year and I was really surprised in August we could see Pleiades already this early in the evening. It's not even midnight yet. It's definitely a sign that the winter constellations are coming back to the sky. Looking forward to that also. Just uh, been fiddling around a bit with some artsy fartsy bouquet ish <laughs> shots. Uh, I was busy for about 20 minutes, but I think they all failed. But you know what? Maybe that doesn't even matter because I enjoyed the process. It's a pretty much a cliche, but still, I do. And uh, how was your night? How do you enjoy these small local astro outings? Yeah, I like them. It's, it, it doesn't have to be super dark or super although it was it was pretty dark it was pretty dark <laughs> but, but although in the netherlands you can find darker spots but it, it doesn't always have to be the the case so uh, i really enjoyed uh, it was quite dark uh, we had some header some good composition some good company so no it's uh it doesn't always have to be uh far away super compositions or whatever just enjoying the night I think I agree with Martijn, although I do prefer a trip to La Palma. <laughs> Every now and again, a really relaxed we local we outing. Will do. <laughs> we might be back next year, you yeah. never know. <laughs> No, but uh, yeah, every now and then a local outing, easy to reach, only half an hour from home and in a relatively dark area for us. In a beautiful, beautiful area also, I must yeah. say, with the uh, purple header. Uh, I don't know if my shots yeah, are really, really good, but hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If our shots turn out any good, here are the shots anyway. And uh, for now, I enjoyed myself and I hope I'll see you uh, on the next one. I totally am mixing up my ending here, but <laughs> see you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Lekker rommelig. Leuk. Hey, leuk. Dat is grappig.